Hello and welcome back to another tutorial for Qt POS. Today we're going to be visiting the KDS or OMS as we call it, the Order Management System and its functionality. Uh, basically what this is going to help you do is manage orders and manage communication between bars and kitchens uh, and servers. So let's get into this by starting a tab. So we're going to start a tab and here we're going to order a couple of quesadillas and let's do a beef teriyaki skewer and we're going to make it dry and we're going to add that to the tab now as you can see what that did was print out and add the order to the oms screen simultaneously so right now the kitchen has that order printout and we have a timer starting now for color based purposes right now the header at the oms is a light green now for all practical purposes that stays light green for about two minutes now from after two minutes it's going to go to a dark green and that's kind of that stage that says hey uh, we know you're busy uh, but don't forget about us so we're going to let it change to dark green and speed up the video just a hair. Okay, so now the header on the OMS ticket has turned to dark green and you'll see that it's at minus two minutes from the order time. And I did want to point out that on the main sales screen, we can see the tab that has uh, Gen W's name there. It has $22.81 uh, on it. In the lower left hand corner, there is a yellow box signifying that the order has been initiated, so to speak. And on the right hand side, on the scroll bar, you'll see Gen W's name with the yellow box at the same time. Now, when I change on the OMS, I hit where it says negative two, and I say for practical, all practical purposes, it's gonna take us one minute. So I'm gonna click the one minute mark and you'll see that the header is now clear. It's a clear header. Now back over on the sales screen, the two boxes that signify the status of the order are actually orange. Now, if I click this, I can see the status of the orders as a list, and I can see where it's at here, as far as the orange box in the lower left-hand corner of the tab itself. Now, for the next part, we're going to kind of cover a little bit of messaging. So let's just say that this person has a shrimp allergy. Now, they didn't order shrimp, but they notice that there's shrimp on the menu. So now the server says, oh, wait, I got to come up and put a service note to this. So they can click anywhere here. And there's a service note ability, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the service note and I'm going to type in shrimp allergy right and that's the order being printed out that says hey there's a shrimp allergy so that should get that uh, a little attention but at the same time you'll see that the shrimp allergy note just went up on the OMS which is good now we know that there's a shrimp allergy the cook knows how to kind of uh, proceed accordingly. In other words, he's not going to cook the quesadillas on the same flat top that he just cooked maybe some grilled chicken or grilled shrimp salad. So he knows that he has to clean and you know, go through the right protocol. The next thing that I wanted to do was to kind of deal with a little bit of the timing. Now, I'm going to also show you one of the things that we can do here is void an, a portion of this. So let's just say that this person that ordered two quesadillas really only wants one. It was a mismatch. You can come up here and you can click void. And of course, it's the same as we do. We ask you whether you're returning it to stock or whether you're going to void it uh, or spill it. Right. So in this case, we're going to void it because it's already probably been fired and send that off. Now, what happens is you'll see that on the OMS, there's been a red entry 
the quesadilla was entered to red. And over on the right hand side, we now have a red box that signifies that order. If I click on this box, it brings up some of the information, uh, actually all of the information that you see on the left hand side. To get out of this, I just click anywhere in this header. Okay, so now that's kind of been received, but let's just say that you want to acknowledge this so that the server still doesn't have to run in the back and check to see that the shrimp allergy was taken care of. Okay, so you come here and the cook can literally say, uh, got it, right? He's going to say, got it. And he's going to send. Now, over on the tab side, you'll see that the message icon has a green background now. So that'll let the, the server know that there's a message and she can see, oh, got it. And now we know that the whole shrimp allergy has been dealt with. We know that they know and they know that we know them, <laughs> if that follows. But during this time, the next stage of our colors came up. Now, if we go back to the main screen on the sales screen, we don't see anything here, but this red border, this red header on this tab over in the OMS says, hey, you probably should be done cooking. So now the server or the cook comes up and he puts a double zero in because it is done cooking and it turns that header a mustard yellow and if you look out onto the sales screen both seem to have the green and you can see that the statuses are updated letting the server know that it's now time to come pick up the quesadilla and the beef teriyaki skewer so now the server comes and picks it up and the cook can bump it off hitting the red x you can see now the front, that ticket has been taken away. Now, one thing that we can kind of do is we can reopen that ticket, so to speak, right? So now let's just say that the quesadilla was made wrong, okay? The server can come here and say recall. And when she sends this ticket off, You'll see there's no order on the OMS screen, but there's a printout. Now this, this cook comes up and says, ah, I get it. That needs to be recalled. So now he comes over to the recall button and he takes the ticket and he reopens it, right? He can set the cook time again to be, say, one minute. And if we come back here and look, sure enough, we see that it's being refired because we have the orange block on both the scroll bar status and at the tab status. And when it's done, it's the same thing. Back to double zero, we see the green box out front. And then when it gets picked up, he can remove it from the screen again, just like that. Now, the various colors really kind of tell the communication back and forth uh, without the messaging, but the messaging adds an extra layer of communication. And that can be uh, at an OMS, it can be to a bar printer, whatever it is, whatever order printer is set up with the various stations. It's just that on an OMS, you get the added benefit of seeing the messages printed out as well as having the messages printed out on the printer. And, you know, obviously at the same time, you get the color coding and the visual representation of the tabs to help you organize it and help the workers more efficiently uh, serve your customers. And for the most part, that's it. Uh, you, for what you see, we've covered sending orders, timer settings, colors, the voids where we have on screen and printing. And for the order status, we have the three locations, the OMS header, the tab left-hand corner, lower left, and the scroll bar. And as far as the messaging, that is something where you can both send and receive from both stations, and you have display only on the server side. But 
on the OMS or the bar, wherever there's an order printer, you get the printing. But with the OMS, you get also the visual representation that there's an order or I mean a message that's in place. And for the most part, that's it. If you uh, come back or if you have more videos that you want to watch, they'll be listed in the links below. But thank you for showing up and checking out the OMS order management system. Have a great day.